Telecom, NSG 318, Study Section 5, The Research Proposal. Research proposals are documents describing what researcher proposed to study. Prepared before a project has commenced, a research proposal is a written plan that identifies the major elements of a study, such as the research problem, purpose, and framework, and outlines the methods and procedures to conduct the study. A proposal is a formal way to communicate ideas about a proposed study to receive approval for conducting the study and to seek funding. In this study section, you will learn about the writing of a research proposal, its functions, content, and seeking approval for a study. Learning outcomes for study section five. At the end of this study section, you should be able to write a research proposal. Discuss the functions of a proposal, content of a research proposal, seeking approval for a study, further defense of a proposal, writing a research proposal. Writing a quality proposal involves developing ideologically, determining the depth or detail of the proposal's content, identifying critical points in the proposal, and developing an aesthetically appealing copy, developing ideas logically. The ideas in the research proposal must logically build on each other to justify or defend a study. A case is built to justify why a problem should be studied. An appropriate methodology for conducting the study is proposed. Each step in the research proposal builds on the problem statement to give a clear picture of the study and its merits, determining the depth of a proposal. The depth of a proposal is determined by guidelines developed by schools of nursing, funding agencies, and institutions where research is conducted. Guidelines provided specific direction for the development of a proposal and should be followed explicitly. The content in the proposal needs to be detailed, enough for reader, yet concise enough to be interesting and easily reviewed. Identifying critical points. The key or critical points in your proposal must be clear. Even to a ST reader, critical points might be highlighted with both type or its size. Content considered to be critical in your proposal are the background and significance of the research problem. Method and research production plans, data collection and analysis, plan, personnel, schedule, and budget. Developing an aesthetically appealing copy. An aesthetically appealing copy is typed without spelling, punctuation, or grammatical errors. The format used in typing the proposal should follow the guidelines developed by the reviewer. Functions of a proposal. Research proposals are an integral part of most studies and are typically prepared after a researcher has identified a topic. Develop research questions or hypotheses and undertaking in a literature review. Research proposals usually help researchers to clarify their own thinking. Represent the means for opening communication between researchers and parties interested in the conduct of research. The parties are typically either funding agency or faculty advisors whose job is to accept or reject the proposed plan or to demand modifications. Proposals often serve as the basis for negotiation with other parties as well. Ensures that all researchers in case of collaboration are on the same page about how the study is to proceed and who is responsible for which tasks. Content of a research proposal. The content of a proposal is written with the interest and expertise of the reviewers in mind. Reviewers of research proposals, whether they are faculty, funding sponsors, or peer reviewers want a clear idea of what the researcher plans to study. What specific method will be used to accomplish study goals? How and when various tasks are to be accomplished? And whether the researcher is capable of successfully completing the project? The content of a proposal varies from the reviewer, the guidelines developed for the review, and the type of study, quantitative or qualitative proposed. Front matter. 
Proposals typically begin with what is referred to as a front matter, which orients readers to study and in case of proposals for funding, contains administrative information. The front matter typically includes at a minimum a cover page that indicates the title of the proposed study and the author name and institution. The proposed title should be given careful thoughts. The title should be concise and informative, but should be compiling and interesting. The proposal title should indicate the phenomena to be studied and the population of interest. Abstracts. Proposals must always begin with a brief synopsis of the proposed project. The abstract helps to establish a frame of reference for reviewers. The abstract should be brief, between 200 and 300 words and should start concisely the study, objective, and methods to be used. Although an abstract appears at the beginning of a proposal, it is often written last. The problem and its significance. The problem that the intended research we address is identified early in the proposal. The problem statement should clearly indicate the scope and importance of the problem, conveying any potential application to clinical practice. The proposal needs to describe clearly how the proposed research will contribute to the knowledge and to the enhancement of evidence-based practice. The proposal should indicate the expected generalizability of the research, its contribution to theory, its potential for improving nursing practice, and possible applications or consequences of the knowledge to be gained. Background of the problem. A section of the proposal is usually devoted to a description of how the intended research builds on an existing base of evidence and how, if appropriate, it is linked to a conceptual model. The background material should strengthen arguments about the study's significance, orient readers to what is already known about the problem, and indicate how the proposed study will enhance the knowledge. Objectives. Specific achievable objective provides the reader with clear criteria against which the proposed research method can be assessed. Objectives stated as research hypotheses or specific methods to be tested are often preferred. Method. The explanation of the research method should be thorough enough that the reader will have no question about how research objective will be addressed. A thorough method session includes the following. The research design for experimental research a description of both the treatment and the control group condition, the sampling plan, data collection method and operational definitions of key variables, procedures to be adopted, strategies for coding, storing, reducing, and analyzing data, including any software to be used, method of safeguarding human or animal subjects, the work plan. Researchers indicate in the work plan the sequence of tasks to be performed, the anticipated length of time required for their completion, and the personnel required for their accomplishment. Content of a quantitative research proposal. Chapter 1, Introduction. Background and, signi take two. Background and significance of the problem. Statement of the problem. Statement of the purpose. Chapter 2, Review of relevant literature. Review of relevant theoretical literature review of relevant research, and summary. Chapter 3, Framework. Development of a framework. Formulation of objectives, questions, or hypotheses. Definitions, conceptual and operational of research variables. Definition of relevant terms. Identification of assumptions. Chapter 4, Methods and Procedures. Description of the research design, model of the design, strengths and weaknesses of the design, and description of treatment if applicable. Identification of the population and sample, sample size, use of power analysis, sampling criteria, and sampling method. Selection of a setting, strengths and weaknesses. Presentation of ethical considerations, protection of subjects' rights. Selection of measurement methods. Reliability, validity, scoring, and level of measurement of instruments as plans for examining reliability and validity of the instruments. In the present study, precision and accuracy of psychological instruments. Plan for data collection. Data collection process. Training of data collectors if applicable. Schedule. 
data collection forms, and management of data. Plan for data analysis. Analysis of demographic data, analysis for research objectives, questions or hypotheses, level of significance if applicable, and other analysis techniques. Identification of limitations, methodological and theoretical limitations. Discussion of communication of findings, presentation of a study budget and timetable. References and appendix. Contents of a qualitative research proposal. Chapter 1. Introduction. Identify the phenomenon to be studied. Identify the study aim or purpose. Describe the evolution of the study. 1. Provide a rationale for conducting study. 2. Place the study in context historically. 3. Discuss the researcher's experience with phenomenon. 4. Discuss the relevance of the study to nursing. Chapter 2. Research paradigm or general method for proposed study. Identify the type of qualitative research. Phenomenological, grounded theory, ethnographic, historical, philosophical inquiry, critical social theory to be conducted. Describe the philosophical basis for the research method. Explain the research assumptions. Discuss the general steps, procedures, and outcomes for this method. Translation of concepts or terms. Chapter 3. Method of inquiry applied. Demonstrate the researcher's credentials for conducting this qualitative study. Select a site and population. Describe the plan for the researcher's role in the following. Entry into the site and approval to collect data. Selection of study participants. Ethical considerations. Describe the plan for data collection. 1. Date to be collected. 2. Procedures for data collection. 3. Procedures for recording data during data collection. Describe the plan for data analysis. 1. Steps for coding information. 2. Use of specific data analysis procedures advanced in the specific research method. Phenomenology, grounded theory, ethnography, historical, philosophical inquiry, or critical social theory. 3. Steps to be taken to verify the information. Chapter 4. Current Knowledge. Limitations and plans for communication of the study. Summarize and reference relevant literature as appropriate for the type of qualitative study. Disclose anticipated findings, hypotheses, and hunches. Discuss procedures to remain open to unexpected information. Discuss limitation of the study. Identify plans for communications of findings. Boyd and Moy, 2001. Craswell, 1994. Mon, uh, 2001. Patton, 2002. References. Include references cited in the proposal and follow APA 2001 format. Appendix. Present the study budget and timetable. Four. Seeking approval for a study. Seeking approval to conduct a study in an action that should be based on knowledge and guided by purpose. Obtaining approval for a study from a research committee requires understanding the approval process, writing a research proposal for review, and in many cases, verbally defending the proposal. Clinical agencies and healthcare corporations review studies for the following reasons. To evaluate the quality of the study, to ensure that adequate measures are being taken to protect human subjects. To evaluate the impact of conducting the study on review institution. Forward et al. 1999. Approval process. An initial step in seeking approval is to determine exactly what committee in which agency must grant approval before the study can be conducted. Verbal defense of a proposal. Student writing thesis or dissertations are frequently required to defend their proposal verbally to their university committee members. In a verbal defense, reviewers can evaluate the researcher as a person, the researcher's knowledge and understanding of the content of the proposal, and his or ability to reason and provide logical explanations related to the study. Appearance is important in a personal presentation because it can give an impression of competence or incompetence. These presentations are business-like with logical or rational interaction, so one should dress in a business-like manner. Casual dressing may give the impression that the individual does not value the review process. 
Nonverbal behavior is important as well. So appearing calm, in control, and confident projects a positive image. Planning and rehearsing a presentation can reduce anxiety. The verbal defense usually begins with a brief presentation of the study. The presentation needs to be carefully planned, timed, and rehearsed. Salient points should be highlighted, which can be accomplished by the use of audio visuals. Summary of study section five. In this study section, you have learned that this study section focuses on writing a research proposal and seeking approval to conduct a study. A research proposal is a written plan that identifies the major elements of a study, such as the research problem, purpose, and framework, and outlines the method and procedures to conduct a study. Writing a quality proposal involves developing the ideas logically, determining the depth or detail of proposal content, identifying the critical points in the proposal, developing an artistically appealing copy. The content of a proposal varies from the reviewers, the guidelines developed for the review, and the type of study. Quantitative or qualitative proposed. A quantitative research proposal usually has four chapters or sections. Introduction, review of relevant literature, framework, methods, and procedures. A qualitative research proposal generally includes the following chapters or sections. Introduction, research paradigm and general method. Applied method of inquiry, correct knowledge, limitations, and plans to communicate the study. A research proposal is a formal way to communicate ideas about a proposed study to receive approval for conducting the study or to seek funding. Research proposals are reviewed to evaluate the quality of the study, ensure that the adequate measures have been taken to prevent human subjects, Evaluate the impact of conducting the study of the reviewing institution. We've come to the end of study section 5.